Cody, dude, I'm hearing more and more and more talk about age leads, using age leads for openers, transferring yep. those into openers. Let's talk a little bit about how age leads fit into the marketing budget overall. If you are running a call center and the call centers that you consult and work with, how are they using age leads? Let's talk about it. Yeah, it's it's a phenomenal way to supplement their current marketing budget, what they're doing, the activity. Sometimes they use an opener closer model. Yep. And it's hard to get, sometimes it's hard to get enough new leads. Yep. Or they don't have enough money to really, like if they need, you know, if you have a team of openers and you need 3,000 leads a week, well, you know, that may cost you 15, 20, 30 grand. I see it giving peop, uh, newer call centers a little bit more of an on-ramp um, to yeah. be able to have the volume in their database. Right. And the the right call center that I, the call centers I work with don't allow the agents to be lead junkies and complain or talk about the lead quality, et cetera. Yes. So what these guys will do is they'll take those aged leads and mix them into the aged I'm sorry, they'll take the aged leads, mix them in with the new, and not necessarily call them two different campaigns or so, but use Correct. it for the volume. Because the opener's script should be relatively the same, whether it's an aged or, or not. Totally, totally. Right? And so, that, that's a big misconception. Most people don't realize that. It should be the well, exact really, same. Yeah, you just get in, fact find, and, and try and do the transfer, you know? But exactly. Like, for instance, if you're going to do, like, a Google campaign, which I'm seeing a lot of activity right now with Google and YouTube, I think they there might be entering into a little bit of a new era with Google. Yeah. Seriously. Um, which and is I'm, exciting. We're seeing some good stuff. Dude, And but there's a... Absolute on ramp with Google, like there isn't with Facebook. You can't just go turn on Facebook, you know, or you can't just turn on Google ads like you can with Facebook. Uh -uh. So you really do need that that volume um, if you can supplement those yes. that that on ramp to get you the volume that you need. Yes, I, like I know Facebook really well, but I've always used either an external agency or now an internal agency to handle all of my Google and YouTube because it's just so much more complex. And well, there's way it's just di di deeper di 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 deeper ways where you dive deeper, deeper ways to like actually execute and really optimize and continue to improve it over the course of six months. And it's a lot to it. Well, and you can use, you know, Google has, Google is a much larger, more, uh, it's, it's a bigger company than Facebook. It's, it's, it's a more legacy. They have more track record. They have way more audience in terms of, you know, Google and YouTube users Googling the keywords that we know that we want. Yeah. But the, the point is, is, is age leads, what I'm finding is, is that it really does fit a niche. I don't know... Um, really all, any of our big killers that aren't really supplementing their callers with age leads Correct. just to get that moving. So let's talk a little bit about like why you think that's happening. Like other than just volume controllability, do you think how much would you expect the transfer rate or like a close rate to suffer by an age lead? Like you think it'd be 25%? I mean, that's... What... Yeah, I don't think it's much. I mean, overall, yeah, maybe it's going to dip, you know, a um, couple percent to 5% overall of like the actual transfers. So I don't think you're going to see that much of a dip. Um, I do know that I do notice a lot that, yeah, maybe the answer rate's a little lower naturally. They have to hit them a little harder. Um, and there's some softwares that can actually like triple dial internally and that kind of stuff. But just, just it, it, from a general marketing standpoint, it's a phenomenal way to, uh, like you talked about, have that volume and that quantity because in a, it, it, when you're working, activity is key. And you got to stay busy. And it's hard to stay busy on only new leads unless you've got a gigantic freaking marketing seriously. budget. Yeah, seriously. Like, and, and I don't know anybody really that's got, like, they're fueling their entire call center on new Facebook leads. Correct. That is not a thing. Yeah. And, and, oh, and, and we, we manage budgets of over 100 grand a month for some massive call centers around the country, so several of the top ones. And they're always additionally supplementing it with an extra 100,000 leads a month of, of other stuff. Well, and one of the things that I think is interesting and timely right now is we're shooting this video in September of 2020 where we're coming into elections, and I'm seeing some volatility. I, I know TV is experiencing some volatility. I know yeah. that we have some clients that are like, whenever I look at the actual affidavits and the schedules of the TV commercials that we're getting, it's just kind of like bottom of the barrel commercials because the political spots are taking all the cream of the crop. Yes. And I'm also seeing it translate over into Facebook. Yep. I'm seeing lead costs creep up. I'm seeing agency or you know clients that have had great success, five, four, five, six to one return on investment with Facebook. All of a sudden we hit early September and we're starting to dip down into that lower level. And if you get to a point where what you said, if what you said is truly true, let's just say we're closing 10, 5, 15, whatever percent less age leads, but those age leads are a dollar a piece or 50 yeah, cents a piece exactly. or whatever. And our, our Facebook leads are five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, depending on buyer intent. I mean, those numbers kind of back up pretty easily. Yeah, they really do, and and that's what we've noticed a lot with 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 their marketing budget. Every the, the, you talked about a lot on this channel specifically, and at eight percent, their marketing budget. What they're looking to do is say, okay, here's the budget, here's what we're getting, here's what we're doing, and they're actually ending up seeing a cost per acquisition for that specific budget. 
so that they can weigh the strategies in the budget and say, okay, we need to cut this one a little down. We need to increase this one. And they're really able to like run a business that way by knowing their numbers. I agree. And, you know, one of the things too that, you know, a lot of, a lot of people, well, like, here's an interesting, I don't know if I, you, know, you know this or not, we've not talked about this, but I've got a client right now that will um, use Facebook leads and age data, drive all those leads to their openers along with all of the Google form fills. But then a separate DID phone number of the inbound Google calls goes straight to their agents, mm. and they're crushing it. So That's good. they're basically saying, "Here's our budget. We're taking those leads, getting those leads to the openers, to then, you know, Remiz says homogify or homogenize, I guess, the lead that is a transferred, so that agent doesn't really know the difference between what the source is or whatever that opener is supposed yep. to take the actual lead that they get, qualify it, whatever it is, and then pass it over the fence. But then those direct calls from Google are so quality." They're going straight to the insurance agent That's themselves, huge. which is really actually interesting. Well, you know what? You actually, on that point, I was actually uh, meeting with an agency yesterday that uh, we're doing several pieces of their marketing, and their Google is is actually the highest return yep. on a percentage of, of of actual production on the back end. So the only challenge with Google is is you can't. You can't move the, you can't crank the nozzle up and down very quickly. You can't just give Google a ton of right. budget because they'll spend it. Because Google is not as frugal, I guess I would say as 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 um, Facebook. They don't they don't care. Like Google will eat up your budget. They don't care about your CPL. The industry as a whole isn't as focused on CPL as the insurance industry is. Yeah, you know what I mean. So you, you, we'll talk to our Google strategist and we'll be talking CPL, CPL, and they'll be like. Well, it's not all about CPL, and I'm like, no, no, no. You understand, like, it's all about CPL yeah. with these guys, you know. Yeah, so for sure. Um, but yeah, I mean, is there anything else in terms of tips or, or you know, anything regarding how does age leads fit in your marketing budget that we haven't talked about? Yeah, um, I mean, most most people in our industry are the, the the big dogs are much more patient with their marketing and their budget. That's the for people sure. that are like turning something on one week and then cutting it the next week and then turning it back on and then flipping it. No, we're going to do this. No, we're going to do that. It's a recipe for disaster, yeah. and and I see we see this a lot to where it's like okay someone's new to the space or new to the call center world whatever, and they just like totally you know it's it's like you know it's like a pinball machine, and you can't get anything done that way. No, it's, <laughs> you, you don't get any data. There's no time. There's no like learning. It's just it, it doesn't help the company as a whole. No, I got an idea for you, or at least something that I've seen work really well with age leads. So you know how we have Samson with the automation built in, right? Yeah. So what we're doing is we're we're, we're you know, coordinating an age lead by mm -hmm. and then dumping into Samsung with all the automations. That's awesome. And so, I mean, yeah, I mean, good grief. You're taking, you know, let's just call it, let's just say you're getting a dollar age leads. You know, you take 500 age leads, dump them into Samson. These are all aged within 90 days. So it's, you know, compliant yes. to do so. So you're able to basically get those, you know, touch points over and over and over on those age lead that can kind of help with your contact rate, et cetera. And you can kind of use that to supplement whoever's working inside that automation platform. We use, Go, you know, Samson is our, is our yeah, yeah. platform, but um, we, everybody should be having some sort of an automation platform. So those age leads can just get dumped in there. Think um, about that. Like 500 bucks all in, 500 leads, right? Yep. Just as an example. Yep. Your calls, automated emails and texts. Yep. And it's like, how, like that's one sale. For crying, oh, dude, you know what I mean? Like grief. for crying out loud, it's like yeah. that's such an easy ROI. Yeah, and I'm getting to the point now where I'm starting to think that every like agent or somebody that is starting a Facebook campaign should buy 250, 500, 750 age leads or so to start the campaign out and just get things moving. Correct. You know, get get get, get those leads through Samson, get the automations going, et cetera. And and really, call centers need to be buying at least five thousand of those a week. I yeah, believe, for sure. You know, yeah, for, for no doubt. And and uh, we're also we're, we've got them for PNC now. Yep. Right. Home, auto, yep. condo. Yep. Just like that's crazy. Um, final expense, life, yep. Yep. Uh, Medicare, yep. under age sixty five, health, mortgage protection. I'm like, we have them all. We got a lot going on, and which is awesome and exciting because as everything grows, it's like we want to be able to help agents and companies the best we can, and we're really trying to like continue to improve our scope of products so that no matter what, we have the solution. Well, and my my what I'm talking at eight percent on in three weeks is is you got to find your marketer. You cannot your lead vendor is not your marketer. Yeah. Any, think about this truly for a second. How many of our most successful friends in the insurance call center or killer field sales world don't have some killer marketer, either as an agency relationship or in-house in some capacity? 
and get, have some sort of sustainable lead source and plan that they're able to then. They all have something. They don't. It's the the days of buying your leads from five different lead vendors and that's your marketing strategy. To me, is is uh, you can still probably pull it off, but that's not the future. But it's also that whole thing about like not learning. It's like oh, that batch of twenty was horrible, so I'm gonna go to this this time yeah. this yeah. T- timely benefits leads this new <laughs> vendor. You know, is there one called Timely Benefits no, Leads no. now? I'm just, I wouldn't I'm be surprised. Stuff up. I'm just making stuff. Um, up. No, they come out every week. You know, like because it's not that hard to put together a lead form and generate an FE lead at the end of the day. Yeah. You know, it's, yeah. it's more complex than that. That's not marketing. That's Facebook leads, right? <laughs> you know saying, right. So well, I got an idea for you as well. So what? Well, I have a guy that is probably one of the smartest guys. I can't, you know, name his name, but he runs a mega, mega, mega huge Medicare call center. Mm. He buys aged internet leads, scrubs them, and direct mails them and refreshes. What do you think about that? Yeah, I, I love it. It's 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 unique. Think about people that are doing that. Not many. He sends, he sends the, I think he sends a priority mail or whatever. He's got about 50 or 70 cents, or not 70, probably 55 cents wrapped up into, he'll pay, I don't know, anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents for the actual contact because they have they may have went through an internet lead form, but they have not been direct mailed yet. Mm. So he says that data sometimes is like gold. He's like, I'll, I'll get sometimes a better return on investment from my direct mail of those individuals than I will for my openers from the same, you know, batch of, of age leads. Yep. So, you know, that, those are the things, those, those are marketing strategies. That's not like a, no lead vendor is going to call you in and tell you that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like that's not, the, no, because they can't make money on it. it it's, yeah, it, it's, it's, it, overall, this is a phenomenal way to like continue to improve what you're doing and, 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 and diversify and, your marketing budget can go farther this way. So you went over that really quick. What are the kind of age leads that we have now? We have PNC, so like home auto condo. Let we me have, let me explain on that real yeah, quick. Yeah, please. So please. okay, so let, we you can pick home, auto, or condo. Then on the auto, you can get year, make, model, VIN number, one to four drivers. If one of those drivers owns a home, yeah, it will give you the year it was built, the year the roof was replaced, the actual, the the year the the um. Uh, how many bedrooms? How many bathrooms? And that's your that's your lead. It's insane. That's insane, dude. So I was talking good. to one of this one of my big PNC clients. He's like, dude, I have never seen this much data on a lead in my life. It's so, crazy. But anyways, that's PNC, and in my opinion, that's one of the best ways to get an ROI um, on your marketing spend is just to, to buy PNC leads and give it to your junior guy and have him call instead of one. A lot of them are cold calling. Well, imagine calling with all this data is like, hey, I've showed interest in the last three months instead of you have a pulse. Yep. Yep. So what else we got besides PNC? Uh, life and final expense. So either, you know, like final expense, for example, 45 to 85 uh, with some fantastic info like requested coverage amount, uh, requested coverage length, uh, r- r- phenomenal information, everything you need to contact info wise. Uh, also Medicare uh, and uh, so under age 65 health and over age 65 health, uh, which is unbelievable. It's just mortgage protection. You know, hey, I've got a home. I, I have interest in covering it with life insurance to protect it. Like it's just... Full state Spanish. We got Spanish yeah. FE. Uh, Spanish Medicare. That's not even been talked about, but it needs to be. We get, we get asked about that a lot. I know. Well, um, any other final thoughts as we wrap this thing up? <laughs> it, I mean, we've got, I don't even know how many, hundreds of thousands, if not a million age leads now. And, and I would absolutely love uh, for people to hear this video to call our office and give them a try. Looking forward to it. Hey, if you enjoyed this, I got another one you're gonna love. It's right there, click on it, see it. Hey, almost every insurance agent I know struggles with objections, specifically what to do and how to improve your closing ability. So I'm gonna talk through several different things, okay? I always talk about uh, my specific appointment process, the warm up, back find.